What's going on everybody? David Lyle again. Welcome to another episode of Pop Wood Playback. We have five great videos for you this week. Before we get started though, I got a new product in the mail and it's the Castle 100. Uh, this is sort of a competitor to the Craig Foreman uh, and it's got some neat features and design that I think is really innovative. So let's take a look. All right, so this is the Castle 100. We're giving you a quick preview. Uh, this is not a full review. I haven't used this uh, very much. I just was live on our Instagram channel uh, giving you an unboxing of this product. And so here, I just wanna show you how it works. Uh, you take your stock and you slide it in here on this table and it has nice markings alongside of it so you can really line up your piece uh, nicely. Uh, and it also has some grippy tape down here. Now you slide it in and you give a couple spins on the knob and your piece isn't going anywhere. Now, what makes this unique is that there's actually a Bosch router inside of it. And so what you're doing is you're milling the pocket hole slot as opposed to drilling it uh, like some other products. Um, and so once you uh, mill it uh, with this arm, as you pull it back, it will come into the wood. Uh, you create a pot pilot hole uh, with this guide bearing here. Now, I'm gonna put on my safety glasses uh, and give this a go for you. And so there's a nice little hole over here to start the router. And you pull down on this. And you're able to hear it come to a stop and that's when you know that you're done milling that. And so we give it a quick drill. And I believe we're gonna be ready to go. And this is a uh, proud of three quarters in, so I think I have the right size screw here. But we're gonna try just assembling this real quick. And what it leaves you with is a really nice slot that's nice and square and has a nice round at the end. Uh, it looks very nice uh, if your pocket holes are going to be in a visible spot. So I went ahead and grabbed uh, some pocket hole screws and I'm going to give this a go. I'm gonna clamp it down before I get started uh, just so I don't have too much movement between my pieces and they stay nice and flat. We are left with a pretty nice line. Um, it twisted a little bit, but you'll have that when you're doing just a single pocket hole screw. So that was a pretty cool preview. Um, I'm pretty impressed, uh, but we're gonna have a full review on the Castle 100 in the coming weeks. Let's get into the videos. First up, we have Dave Picudo with Make Something. He builds a wooden box with a utility knife. So he uses foam cord board and veneer to make a box that looks like real wood, uh, but it's not. Very cool build, very creative. Next up we have Guy's Wood Shop. He has been working on a curved walnut buffet table for some time now, and he has a series of videos uh, that go with it. But the addition of the curves makes the joinery so interesting. And it kind of hurt my brain as he walked us through it, uh, but it was a great build. Next up is Evan and Caitlin. They are newer to the YouTube scene, but they are rising fast because their videos are gorgeous and their projects are unique. So I would encourage you to check out their entire channel, but in this video, they build a walnut flat pack slab live edge coffee table. <laughs> uh, it is a fun build. They built it with Johnny Brooks over at his shop uh, and they use an X carve to uh, mill out all of the legs and they had some fitting issues and things like that, but it's a great video that kind of documents how they pressed through that and ended up with a great table. Good job.
Next up is King Post Timberworks. This is a new channel to me, but it was submitted by you uh, on our last video. And his channel has a ton of beautiful furniture, but in this build is a walnut bench that is Japanese inspired. Uh, and it's a big piece of furniture and he walks you through the process. Last up, we have John Malachi with his River Table build. He's been teasing this on Instagram for some time now, uh, and it's live on his channel. It's a huge, beautiful River Table with glass set in the middle of a long slab. Uh, and I'm really happy to see that he powder coated the base. Uh, just a top notch job. Great job, John. That's it, thank you all for joining Popwood Playback. If you have a video that you are into or a video that you like, please post a link in the comments and we'll include it in the description of the following week's videos. Thank you for joining and we'll see you next week.